one of the big trends for the Mobile World Congress this year is virtual reality becoming more consumer friendly or getting to the hands of the customers. Uh, you have the Samsung Galaxy VR devices which have actually started selling in countries like India and you have Lenovo which is bringing in a very affordable Ant VR headset which uh, lets you have a full theater, a big screen experience using your smartphone. But uh, there is also virtual reality going into the professional level with the Nokia Ozo 360 degree cameras which could be used in Hollywood changing the way we imagine movies, how movies are written and how they are created. There is also um, devices like the HTC Vive which was launched here last year but is finally coming into a consumer form. I could see hundreds of people try out different types of virtual reality devices from the Oculus to the HTC Vive and there are many different uses of how virtual reality uh, could, be, um, could actually uh, end up in your hands and you'd see a lot of these devices coming to you by next year. This also means there is going to be a lot of pressure put on the networks because virtual reality content is not going to be local. It's going to be streamed to your device from somewhere else. And that is why along with virtual reality, companies are already talking about 5G and 5G will be crucial to deliver that content to you. Till we get 5G, which could be at least four or five years away, you have 4G plus and 4G plus could be yours as early as next year.